everybody, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Gamers Podcast. And today we're going to dive right into it and be talking about what is potentially the best Call of Duty game. Uh, I just was thinking about all the Call of Duty games I've played. Now, I, I've played quite an amount, not all of them, but some of them. So, now, I decided to talk about what's the best Call of Duty game uh, in today's episode. So, I'm going to take three Call of Duty games and rank them the best, you know, three Call of Duty games that I think are the best in the series and rank them and we're going to have a winner at the end of this video. So, we're going to talk about um, the gameplay of it, of each game, the how every each game works, like the campaign and everything, and that's how I'm going to rank them, in my opinion. What I choose at the end of this podcast might not be your guys' opinion of the best Call of Duty game, but it's in my opinion and, you know, so... Uh, so mostly when I talk about what's the best game or what's the best story in a game or whatever, it's generally my opinion. So you guys can have a completely different opinion than me, but that's okay. I just want to throw out my opinion here today to start off with. So Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, the Call of Duty Black Ops, and uh, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, this is just with the Call of Duty franchise. So this could be uh, Cold War, this could be... COD 4, you know, like, it just has to have Call of Duty on it, so, um, yeah, so, Black Ops 2, the first Black Ops, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, and Modern Warfare, so let's talk about the first Black Ops. The first Black Ops, like, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, it's my favorite game, uh, probably out of the whole series, so, just off the bat, so I'm gonna talk about that. The gameplay is good, I like the game, like, I like the multiplayer and the zombies, and all the maps in the zombies that you can get, um, which I think that's very good. It's, you know, now nowadays with Call of Duty, it's, oh, Call of Duty's just a mess nowadays. So it's really not compared to the Call of Duty now. But I think it's really, you know, and it was made, I think like 10 years ago, I think it came out in 2010 around. So, you know, it's a nice game. I think it's a nice touch. I like the zombies. I have a lot of memories with the zombies. So it's kind of a nostalgia factor here. Um, so let's talk about, let's dissect the games. So. Uh, the zombies. The maps are good. I think the storyline, just in general, with the zombies, you know, throughout all the Call of Duty games, are good. Um, like all those characters and everything like that. So I think it's really nice. Uh, the storyline, also the gameplay. I enjoy. You know, it's classic zombies. I think it's very classic. Um, so you survive. You know, with the zombies. And, uh, see how long you could survive, basically, with friends or solo. Which solo, you know, is pretty nice. So then let's talk about the multiplayer of COD Black Ops. It's really cool. The multiplayer is good. You have another good selection of maps. The guns that you could get are really cool. You know, I like the guns. My favorite gun probably is the Spaz-12. I think you can get um, that, so that's really nice. And I would have some COD gameplay here, but I couldn't, you know, record any before I did this podcast. I didn't get a chance to, so. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's really nice. Black Ops 1 campaign is really nice. Um... <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy the story, and I like how it's continued in Black Ops 2, and the whole, you know, with Mason and everything, and his numbers, and I think it's really nice, and there are spoilers ahead for Black Ops 2, because I'm going to be talking about the Black Ops 2 campaign, and how it ties in with the first Black Ops campaign, so, uh, fair warning, spoilers are ahead for the Black Ops 1 and 2 campaign, but, um, campaign is really nice, I enjoy this, they tell the story really well, so, yeah. So let's move on to Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. Zombies, my favorite map, hands down, is Mob of the Dead. So, uh, Mob of the Dead is a really nice map. Uh, now, you can get that in the Uprising, I think it's Uprising DLC. Um, it's a really nice map. Yeah, re and realistically, it has nothing to do with the story uh, of the original zombies. But I think it's a nice touch um, for the game. So... I like Mob of the Dead, that's my favorite Zombies map. Now let's talk about Zombies gameplay in Black Ops 2. Uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies, it's kind of the same thing, really. Uh, your base maps are Transit, Farm, and Town, I think. Yeah, Transit, Farm, and Town, like when you first get the game, that's basically the maps you're presented with without buying the DLC. Transit isn't really a good map, and I think most Call of Duty Zombies fans for that game will agree. The transit isn't all there. I don't like transit, and I know other people don't. So, there's that. And then there's also... There's also, uh, the multiplayer. The multiplayer is really nice. I like it. I like the Nuketown 
they added Newtown 2025. You know, it's all futuristic and stuff. And it's also, I think, it's, you know, it's pretty much futuristic. The whole game, I think, is set in 2025. Or at least the future, I don't I think most of it's 2025, so. And that uh, is really nice. The guns are nice. There, there's a lot of new guns in it. <laughs> guns are nice. I think Black Ops 2 is also best of its generation. I think it's a really good game, so. Uh, that's my favorite, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that's my favorite. And then uh, moving on to the campaign. The campaign ties into uh, Black Ops 1 campaign. Campaign ties into the Black Ops 1 campaign. And it's uh, really nice. So here's where, you know, spoilers come in. So be prepared for that. Uh, in the Black Ops 2 campaign, you play as Mason. You go from the, in the past and the future. So in the past, you play as Woods and... Uh, Mason, you don't play as Woods, but you play as Mason, and uh, you play as, I think, who is it, Mason's, Mason's son, which David Mason is his son, so um, uh, you get to play as him in the future, and you get to play as Alex Mason in the past with Woods and everything, so, and then at the end you get to shoot, you either get to kill Mason if you shoot him in the head when you have that capture mission, I forget what it's called, but... You have that capture mission, and or if you shoot him in the leg at the end, there's an alternate ending. He'll come back in the nursing home, and Woods is there, and he'll, uh, you know, David Mason will get to meet his father. Like, he, he, like he already met him, but when he's an adult, which is, I think it's a really nice touch. So, yeah. Uh, so campaign was good. So overall, let's. I'm gonna do some rankings. So, Black Ops campaign, the first Black Ops campaign. 10 out of 10 I'd give it Zombies 10 out of 10 Multiplayer 8 out of 10 So And then uh, The multiplayer For Black Ops 2 I'd give a 6 out of 10 Zombies I'd give a 10 out of 10 And Black, Black Ops 2 campaign I'd give a 10 out of 10 So I think You know I'm kind of ranking it on a, Out of 10 So uh, And then Let's talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare I I played it But I don't I haven't played it As much As I have Black Ops 1 and 2, so, um, but, but I have played it, so I, you know, I am going to talk about it, so, campaign's nice, I like the campaign, uh, I have played the, through the campaign, which is, it's really nice, I think we've had some gameplay here from Modern Warfare 2 on the channel, which is nice, um, you know, but, uh, campaign's nice, multiplayer's pretty good, uh, I think, you know, there's a lot of memories for a lot of Call of Duty players there, but, uh, so I'd give the campaign a Probably an eight out, solid eight out of ten, and the multiplayer. I haven't played the multiplayer that much, but you know, but I have played it and I have seen videos of it, so I can't really speak for it. So I'll give it a five out of ten. You know, from what I've seen, I'd give it a five out of ten. And there is no zombies in on there, so uh, there's no zombies. But those are three games that I've picked and that I personally think are the best out of the series. So. Uh, but I'm going to give uh, my official ranking and my official uh, game that I think is the best out of the entire Call of Duty series. Which would be, I think Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty game out of the entire series. Which I think, it, you know, I liked it all. I liked the story and everything. So, and, and this is my opinion. Everybody else has a different opinion. I understand that. So, that, that, but that's my opinion. Black Ops 2 is the best series best game out of the whole entire Call of Duty franchise series. Now, Call of Duty nowadays is certainly very different. Um, people have a lot of complaints about it, but that's why I kind of went back in time and talked about the older Call of Duties, which, so, I think Call of Duty 2, or Black Ops 2, is the best, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is the best game out of the entire Call of Duty series, you know, with the Call of Duty name on it. So, I enjoy it, you know, I enjoyed it. But everybody else has a different opinion. But I just wanted to talk about today's podcast and discuss about it, which, you know, that's what podcasts are. You discuss about different things. So I wanted to come on here and I'll give you guys a personal opinion on it. But So comment down below what you guys think is the best Call of Duty out of the series. You know, interact with video and whatnot. So that's the end of today's podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Discord, Twitch, Instagram, link in the description. Uh, about the stream last night, I was going to have it. Last night, when I ran into some technical difficulties, so I ended up just canceling it and rescheduling it for Tuesday, this Tuesday, I think it's May 17th, in the description, I'll still be streaming Uncharted, so 
Make sure to check that out. Sorry about the stream. I kind of let you guys know late. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to tune in the stream. And I'll see you guys in the next video.